call on our people to stand behind the government in executing our constitutional mandate to secure the national interest in the West Philippine Sea. Magandang araw mga ka-Aerial Defense, may ibabahagi na naman ako sa inyo dahil ngayong araw na ito ay may bagay tayong pag-uusapan, President Marcos pinatawag ang hukbong depensa ng Pilipinas dahil sa West Philippine Sea, pero bago tayo magpatuloy wag mo muna kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link. Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Nagpatawag ng Command Conference kaninang umaga sa lahat ng mga security authorities upang talakayin ang pinakabagong insidente at paglabag ng China sa West Philippine Sea, pinangunahan ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos Jr., ang isang Command Conference kasama ang sektor ng seguridad sa palasyo ng Malacanian ngayong October 23, 2023, sa mga pangyayaring naganap noong Rotation and Resupply Mission sa Ayungin Shoal. Kasama sa insidente ang mga sasakyang pandagat ng China Coast Guard at Chinese Maritime Militia at ang kanilang mga delikadong blockang maneuvers, na nagdulot ng pinsala sa mga sasakyang pandagat ng Pilipinas sa loob ng exclusive economic zone ng bansa. The President called a special command conference this morning of the National Security and Defense Cluster in order to be briefed and to give his guidance on the latest violation by China of the sovereignty of the Republic of the Philippines. The Philippine government views the latest aggression by China as a blatant violation of international law. China has no legal right or authority to conduct law enforcement operations in our territorial waters and in our exclusive economic zone. We are taking this incident seriously at the highest levels of government. The use by China of brute force behind these ingenuous facades necessitates this course of action. We called for this press conference to give you a clear and factual narrative of what transpired. The Chinese government is deliberately obfuscating the truth. The Philippine Navy and the Philippine Coast Guard are here to give you an undistorted narration of the illegal acts of the Chinese vessels. In short, on or about 6.04 in the morning of Sunday, October the 22nd, 2023, while conducting legitimate rotation and resupply operations within the exclusive economic zone of the Philippines. Chinese Coast Guard and maritime militia vessels in blatant violation of international law harassed and intentionally hit Unaiza May 2 and Philippine Coast Guard vessel BRP Cabra. This occurred within the 200-mile exclusive economic zone of the Philippines, which China has no jurisdiction, authority, or right to conduct any operations whatsoever. This is a serious escalation of the illegal activities conducted by the Chinese government in the West Philippine Sea in complete disregard of any norm or convention of international law. Chinese Ambassador Huang Xilian has been summoned today by Secretary Enrique Manalo of the Department of Foreign Affairs to condemn the reckless and illegal act of the Chinese government. Likewise, Philippine Ambassador to China, Jaime Flor Cruz, has been instructed to convey the same to the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Philippine Coast Guard has to been directed to proceed swiftly with its maritime investigation in accordance with international maritime safety regulations. We call on our people to stand behind the government in executing 
our constitutional mandate to secure the national interest in the West Philippine Sea. Thank you. Dismayado naman si Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro sa mga illegal na aksyon ng China Coast Guard sa West Philippine Sea, sinabing ano ang asahan sa isinagawang Code of Conduct meeting na mismo ang China ang nagpatawag. Sinabi naman ni Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro na kanilang kinokondena sa pinakamataas na antas ang ginawa ng China Coast Guard at tiniyak na hindi nila ito palalagpasin. Well, I think it is really very ironic that on this very day there is the start of the second round of discussions on the proposed code of conduct, which is hosted by China. Uh, well, whereas just yesterday, they were in blatant disregard of international law. And within uh, our jurisdiction, likewise. So what kind of good faith can we expect from them? And that we will wait for our representatives to that code of conduct meeting to disclose or to report to our people. Uh, but I repeat once again that what happened yesterday was a serious and egregious violation of international law and an escalation of their expansionist and aggressive action. And yet, today, they are hosting a proposed declaration of uh, a, propo a negotiation on the pros proposed declaration of code of conduct. Uh, now, what kind of message is this signaling? Uh, I, 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 am, uh, I want to know. And we deserve undistorted answers, the truth, from the government of China. Because once again, we repeat, they have neither jurisdiction nor authority to conduct any sort of governmental operations within our 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone. And no justification they can give will stand the test of credence before our own people and more importantly before the whole world. It's taking this very seriously and uh, the president is, uh, well, that's it. He's taking this very, very seriously, so much so that he called the special command conference this morning. And if you will read the statement, uh, the highest levels of government are giving serious weight to this incident, given the false narrative of China, given the more egregious and aggressive behavior that they uh, display, and uh, given that we cannot take this or tolerate uh, this kind of action or take it lightly, or to neither take it lightly nor tolerate it. Inatasan ng Pangulo ang PCG na magsagawa ng investigasyon na naayon sa international maritime laws, kinumpirma ni Philippine Coast Guard Commandant Vice Admiral Ronnie Gavan na epektibo ngayong araw sa kanila na simulan ang maritime investigation, Hinggil sa ginawang paglabag ng China Coast Guard sa West Philippine Sea. Hello everyone. Now, on orders of the President, the Philippine Coast Guard will now focus on the conduct of marine incident investigation. As we speak, I have already issued a directive to our commander in the Coast Guard District, Palawan, to conduct maritime incident investigation immediately. We will focus on determining the extent of damage or damages done or incurred by the vessels involved. But at this point, it is very, very clear that the two incidents are violations of collision regulations, the very regulation we Coast Guards are expected to enforce. So we find it unfortunate or ironic that a fellow Coast Guard will violate the law where they themselves are supposed to enforce. So you'll be submitting the report of our investigation through our department, the Department of Transportation, to the President for final disposition. Thank you. Nagpadala na rin ng summon ang Department of Foreign Affairs kay Chinese Ambassador to the Philippines, Wang Zilian. Our diplomatic authorities, uh, the DFA, has summoned uh, Ambassador Huang Xilian not only to, to give a protest, but to condemn the reckless and illegal act 
of the Chinese government, and lastly, the Philippine Coast Guard has been directed to proceed swiftly with its maritime investigation in accordance with Philippine law. Para sa mas madaming update tungkol sa ating defense abangan lamang ang aking mga bagong video, para naman sa mga gusto magpa-shoutout mag-comment lamang po at share, paki-follow at like muna ng aming page na nasa description na ang link, pwede ka manalo ng pera or load dito kapag ikaw ay naging top fan nito at napili, wag mo na rin kalimutan mag-like, share, and subscribe pindutin mo na rin ang bell para updated kayo sa aking mga video, maraming salamat po.